Hello everyone and welcome to Lubajudotaku and today we have a review of the SH Figurants Lupin the Third. And things are falling off. So I never watched actually the anime Lupin the Third except for some of the movies, but I think it's actually a fun old style anime. And um, I was hoping to get the Revolt Tank Lupin the Third figure. But unfortunately, I didn't get it while it was re released. And this guy, I caught it like in the sale of Obiling, was very cheap like 13 or 15 euros, something like that. Plus taxes and shipping, but because it came in a big package, ah, still probably got me below 20 euros. Let's see what this guy brings. And if it is a decent anime figure, because SH figure arts are not as good as Figmas. Let me tell you that. Before we continue our review, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, hit that little bell icon to always know when the next review is up, and let's hit that intro. So, without further ado, let's take a look at what this guy brings. Now, the figure itself is kind of Figma sized and very solid. Gotta say, I was impressed with the face special because SH Figure Arts sometimes is not very anime accurate. In this case, he is very anime accurate. Now, I wanted the Revolt Tech one instead of the SH Figure Arts one, but this one also looks really good, and even though it does bring a lot less accessories than the Revolt Tech one, still brings a lot. The box is very small and it kind of reminds me of the uh, Zero Two SH Figure Arts box. Very simplistic but some cool poses and not that much to look at. But it is a nice box that you want to keep well maintained. Now we have an instruction booklet that tells us all the hands the figure brings and all the faces how to switch them the gun and an explanation about the watch accessory now let's start taking a look at the hands so each hand actually brings its own double ball joint and I focus, yes. So each head does bring that. We have a winky face head, a normal smirking head, a big smiling head. Focus! Come on, focus. Yeah, there you go. And the head that I right now have on him is like a goofy face the faces are all very lively and well done well painted so I'm impressed with it now hands right now I have one of the watches already put on the figure there you go very well detailed this is a of course a grabby hand it's not perfect I see like a defect here see this hand actually gets like there. A defect. Seems like an extra molded plastic part. A little bit disappointed. But then we have two fist hands. The other grabby hand that does not have that small defect. We have two shop hands. There you go. Two shop hands. No defects on this one. Two open hands. And finally we have the trigger hand. Where you can use with this gun. Come on. Focus. There you go. Nice gun. And you can just put here. Now the finger does not really go there. That's a pity and a waste. And then we have this 
hand that is to click with this watch, I guess. So let's see if I can. So it's like it's activating the watch. I need to play around with it so you can find a way to actually be able to reach it. But that's the idea. Now, it's nothing special in the terms of accessories and hands, but we still have this watch that you can replace that one. And it's just hit here and it's this cable that is shooting out. Of the watch. The watch itself basically identical, just has the place to put this wire. Be careful because it does look fragile. Speaking of fragile, uh, switching hands, in my opinion, the peg here is a little bit small and it looks a bit fragile, so be careful when switching hands. So I've Speaking of switching, this always happens to me. Whenever I want to switch the head, what pops out is the head and not the the ball pack from the neck, and that's just not the best. Ah, but there you go. So while it is a very simple figure, it is a very good looking figure, and I gotta say. Until now, I'm very satisfied, but what about the articulation? And now comes the interesting part. Let your fingers get in there and have a good old rub it up. So let's take a look at his articulation. We have a double ball peg between the head and the neck, and I think also a double ball peg on the neck. This gives us a great range of motion on the head and neck. Now here... Things get complicated, but I really like what they did here because this is a suit and it really seems seamless. So I believe we have a butterfly joint on this shoulder part that allows it to go in, up, up, down. Then I believe we have a simple ball hinge here. This allows us to get 90 degrees and rotate. So does give you great range of motion without ruining the suit look so congratulations there SH figures then we have just a ball hinge in the elbow and a ball hinge in the hand now here uh, we have like jock jackets a little bit of soft plastic I'm not sure but I believe it is still a ball pack here looks like a ball pack it moves like a ball pack uh, gives you good crunch decent crunch considering all the limitations of the jacket good arcing back then I believe gives us good rotations I believe here we have three ball pack system so ball pack there and a ball pack for the legs and we can see the ball packs it does allow you to swivel and then we have another ball hinge in the knee and here it's a little bit strange I believe it's just a ball bag on the foot but it is a little bit long like it was a sock and finally we have a toe <laughs> a really big toe bend <sighs> easy to pivot so the articulation of this feet is really good it is Figma like so congratulations there what is not feeling more like is a lack of a stand and a lack of a back for the accessories. But otherwise, this is very close to a Figma figure. So for now, I have nothing but positive things to say about this figure. It has a great overall look. It looks exactly like the character. It's great articulation, but what about the size? Oh, yes. SH Figure Arts, Darling in the Franks 02. Figma ReZero Ram. Figma Persona 5 Panther. Figma Dead or Alive 5 Last Round Kazumi. And finally, Revoltech Evangelion Evolution Eva 14. If you can get this figure at a good price, it's an easy recommendation for me, as it is an amazing figure. 
I hope later on I can get Fujiku to make him company. So it should be no surprise that this guy is getting my low budget otaku seal of approval. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you haven't. Help me reach 1000 subscribers and hit that little bell icon to always know when the next video is up. See you next time.